Hi everyone. Uh, today I wanted to share how to create a table of contents or an index in your Google Slides presentation. So I have a presentation already started and I thought this was a useful tool both for teachers and for students, you know, just as a way to sort of enhance um, you know, the final outcome. It could be something as simple as, you know, you just have a really lengthy Google Slides presentation and you'd like to have the first slide, you know, be a list of your topics hyperlinked uh, to other slides inside the presentation. Or it could be a little bit more creative where, you know, kids are working collaboratively on a Google Slide presentation where they're preparing some sort of uh, review for a test or vocabulary review. Um, or maybe you would like to create one and post it in your Google Classroom. To, you know, it's kind of a, a hall of fame, you know, highlighting student work, um, you know, that they've created. Um, I thought, you know, really the options are endless, but it's a pretty simple process and I wanted to show you quickly how to do it. So typically the table of contents would appear after your title slide here. So I created slide number two, says table of contents in the title bar. And instead of a text box, I inserted a table. And inside each cell of your table would be, you know, the student's name, if that's what you were going to link to, or the name of the topic or whatever it was. If you're not sure how to insert a table, let's just quickly throw a new slide in there, just so you could see how easy it is to add a table. You know, this would be, you'd call it, you know, index or whatever you wanted to name it. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this secondary text box just by clicking on the border of it and hitting delete on my keyboard. And then right up here, uh, you're going to click the word insert and slide down to table. And then it's up to you to choose the size of the table that you'd like to appear. And uh, you can actually click and start typing in each cell. I typically, you know, fill all the text in first and then click on the border of the table to change the formatting all at once. Uh, maybe you want to make the font a little bit bigger or bold or something like that or center the words, whatever you want to do. I think that's how I had mine before, something that looks like that. So very easy to insert that table. I'm going to get rid of this slide simply by clicking on it and you see it gets an orange outline and we're just going to hit delete and make that go away. Okay, we're back to business. Here's my table of contents. Here are the students in my class and I wanted to link to their work. So I've already linked to a couple of my students and I'll show you how I did uh, the rest. So each slide, you know, the slide can be as long or as short as you want. Obviously this makes sense if you have a, a long presentation. Um, but once you want to do that link, you're going to highlight the name inside one of the cells. Click again the word insert at the top and slide down to the word link. We're used to copying and pasting uh, a website. And of course you can, but in this case, we have another option inside Google Slides where we can link to slides in this presentation. So if you click that, it all of a sudden shows you with the little slides icons, the names of each of the slides in our presentation. So we wanna link Ron Weasley to slide five, Ron Weasley, click it and double check that it's correct and hit apply. We could go through the same process for any of the names on this list. Highlight the name, insert slide to link, slides in this presentation, and slide until we see the appropriate name and hit apply. So now we have a few hyperlinks on here. When we um, present our slideshow, these links will be clickable. Right now when we're working, of course they aren't. That only happens when you're in present mode. So the only other thing you might want to add is um, on each of your slides within, whether it's the student work or, or con whatever content it is, you might wanna have a back button. So I included one here, I'll show you how I did that. So if we go to Hermione's slide here, you can either add a new text box or work with the one that you have. I'm just gonna kind of go down to the bottom here and I'm gonna say back to table of contents. And the process to add the hyperlink is exactly the same. You're just gonna choose a different slide. So you highlight back to table of contents. Once again, insert link, slide down to slides in this presentation and choose slide two table of contents and hit apply. Now that we have this link created, we can just copy control C and go into the other slides and add the same. So we could do it for each 
um, each slide in the presentation. So we could go through and do all of that. So I won't go through everything, but now if we go back and actually view our presentation, I'll show you how this all works. So you hit present and we'll advance to our table of contents. So if we wanted to check out Ron Weasley's page first, you see as we get closer to the thing, it becomes um, clickable. So if we click on Ron, it brings us right to Ron's page and uh, the image and or text is presented there. And then you simply click back to table of contents to see more slides in your presentation. So I hope this was useful and I hope you can think of a way uh, to incorporate this into your Google classes. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, you know where to find me.